Welcome to Bergen Engines headquarters here in Bergen. This is where our engines are designed, assembled and tested. We have a 21,500 square meter manufacturing facility equipped with all the required tools to produce our engines and generating sets. Let's go and have a tour of the site. The whole value chain is based at our site and in this area of the office building we have close to 100 engineers working with engine design and development. In addition, we have a department in India which oversees the design of complete power plants. In this building we also have all other support functions such as purchasing, accounting, aftermarket services, sales and so on. Our engine block castings are delivered from a few selected suppliers in Europe and in this area we are doing the machining of the engine blocks. It takes around 40 to 160 hours to finalize a complete block. The largest engine blocks weigh 36 tons and our biggest generating sets has a total weight of 170 tons. It's important that the block is perfectly machined before the assembly starts. In the deburring area, sharp edges are removed, the block is then pressure tested and the final analysis is performed. We received the cylinder head casting from our foundry, which I will show you a bit later. The cylinder heads are machined by a fully automated and flexible manufacturing cell with five horizontal machining centers. It takes around six hours to machine a cylinder head. Connecting rods are critical engine components that are heavily loaded. They convert the combustion pressure that moves the piston to a rotary motion of the crankshaft. These components are manufactured from high strength steel and the tight tolerances require very high machining precision. For increased robustness, the connecting rods are also shot pinned and the bearing surfaces are honed. The machining of a connecting rod requires around five and a half hours and we use two different CNC machines for this operation. An engine consists of more than 3,500 components and in this area we machine many of the smaller engine parts. We take the raw material and convert it into, for example, nozzle holders, nozzle and gas valves. The CNC machines can be programmed to prepare all kinds of parts based on the design from our engineers. In this area, we assemble the connecting rod with the piston and cylinder liner to prepare a complete power pack. The power pack concept speeds up the assembly process and it also makes it possible to perform service at the site easier and faster as the whole pack can be withdrawn in one movement. In the piping department, pipes for gas, water, oil and air are produced. A special bending machine streamlines the processes and performs quality controls of the pipes. After production, the pipes go into the equipment module where the entire set is fitted and ready to be assembled directly on the engine. Pipe designs delivered by Bergen engines are saved as a 3D drawing and can be duplicated in 30 seconds to one minute. A lot of work has been done to integrate internal piping on the engines into the engine block and cylinder head design. This saves a lot of work and cost in the assembly line. Our production process is based on the lean production principle and to be able to deliver our engines on time, it's critical to have an efficient logistic system. The parts stored here in Bergen are only used for the assembly of our new engines. We have a centralized warehouse in Helmond in the Netherlands, from where we ship parts worldwide, both for the marine and the power generating aftermarket. To move engines around in the factory, we use the so-called movers. They have a capacity of almost 140 tons each and can be paired to double the capacity. This tool represents a more efficient and safer way of transporting engines than lifting them. Our engine control cabinets are adapted to each project and this is where they are assembled. Another part of the electric department pre-assembles all other electric components that are fitted on the engine and this saves a lot of time in the assembly line. In this area we are fitting gear wheels, 
tuning mass, vibration damper, and the lower part of the connecting rod to the, cr to the crankshaft. Crankshaft and counterweights are delivered from an external supplier. The first step in the assembly process is to install the crankshaft in the engine block. The block is placed upside down before the crankshaft is hoisted into place. Once the blocks are turned back into their upright position and the crankshaft is in place, we continue the assembly process to fit in camshaft, power packs, turbochargers, charger coolers, fuel injection systems, etc. The engine remains in the same cell until it's almost complete. Then it's moved to the dressing area, where it is coupled with the generator and the foundation. This is also where the electric equipment is fitted to the engine. The fact that the assembly line is based on modular cell production reduces the lead time of our engines. When the engines are completed in assembly, they are moved over to the test bed. We have eight test beds where the final tests of the engine are performed. A normal test takes about 15 to 16 hours, and the customer is usually present during the factory acceptance test. Here we can test all our engine models, generating sets, marine propulsion engines, diesel and gas. In addition to alternators, we can use water brakes and load banks to simulate load. This specific emergency generating set is undergoing an inclination test, meaning that the engine shall be able to operate start and stop at 25 degrees inclination angle. The test is a requirement in order to be compliant with Norwegian regulations for offshore oil and gas rigs, and it was completed successfully. This is our engine lab, where we have three dedicated test beds. Here a team of highly experienced engineers perform sophisticated tests and experiments to improve the performance and operational flexibility of our products. In addition to improvements in efficiency and emission reductions, we currently have a lot of focus on alternative fuels such as hydrogen, ammonia and biofuels. The engine lab is also used to verify components and to verify simulations of temperatures and loads. The last step in the manufacturing process is the painting and protection of the engines. Our engines are typically painted Rolls-Royce blue, but our customers are free to choose whichever color they prefer. We have, for instance, delivered Ferrari red engines to a customer in Italy, orange engines to Havila Shipping, and tomato red engines to a greenhouse owner in Belgium. After the painting, our quality department performs a final inspection of the engine to ensure it's in a perfect state and ready for shipping. Our foundry has a long history, and previously many of the larger engine components, such as engine blocks, were prepared here. We have also had more external deliveries, such as housing for windmills, and a wide range of components for maritime operations. Today the foundry is mainly producing cylinder heads, bearing caps, flywheels and ductings, in addition to some components for housing and covers for Kongsberg Maritime. There is a lot of intellectual property incorporated in the cylinder head design, and the quality of these components is imperative for reliable operation. So to ensure the best quality and protect our intellectual property, cylinder heads for all our engine types are produced in-house. We have approximately 30 employees working in the foundry today. This is our brand new service workshop where we overhaul components for a worldwide exchange booth. To give space to manufacturing activities, this workshop was recently transferred from the factory to the foundry building into fully refurbished areas. Customers who make use of the exchange pool can order overhaul components ahead of a service and then return the used components to us when the service is completed. This way, they save time and money, reducing the engine's downtime to a minimum. For our power generation customers, the exchange pool components are also overhauled in our branch offices' workshops. The exchange pool components are overhauled according to OEM standards and upgraded to the latest design. All parts come with a Rolls-Royce OEM warranty. The service workshop also performs regular overhauls and repairs of all kinds of components based on customer inquiries. We have more than 60 field service engineers that are based here in Bergen and that travel worldwide to perform commissioning, maintenance 
and service of our equipment. Our branch offices have their own field service engineers that serve customers in their area of responsibility. Our site is strategically positioned close to the sea and Bergen City, and most of our engines are transported from our site by ship. Some of the smaller engine variants can also be transported by truck. Our crane has a lifting capacity of 105 tons. The generating sets that are lifted here weigh 150 tons each, and a floating crane has come to pick them up. They will then be transported to the ship that will bring them to the yard. And as you can see, it's just a myth that it's always raining in Bergen. Thank you for the attention and I hope you enjoyed the tour.